Hello folks, how are you doing today? Well, there's a very old girl inside this box. Very old. In fact, I'm unboxing a vacuum cleaner that's probably older than me. So, it's an Electrolux. I can't remember the model. Um, this could be from the 1940s, you know. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's as old as 1930s. 40s or 50s is a guess. Now it does have some paperwork with it, so we might get some clues from the paperwork. This is what I would say was a classic sort of style for a cylinder cleaner back in the day, and most cylinder vacuums looked like this one I'm about to show you. Very similar indeed. Right, I think we've got the original box under here. <laughs> if I can get this box off, right, okay. Few, I'll pause and get this outer box off and then we'll have a closer look at this vintage Electrolux. Okay, well here is the original box. It's always nice to have the original box, even though this is a little bit tatty. Considering the age of it, it's pretty good. So it's Electrolux Limited. It says on the top, carriage paid home. Head office and factory, Electrolux Works, Luton Beds. Telephone Luton 4020. But there's no, no date. So, let's have a look at this. This wasn't expensive. Well, I don't consider it expensive. I think it was uh, 43 pounds. So here we have a fabric hose, notorious for cracking underneath and leaking suction but it looks original I would say no suction control probably no need um, and even that is possibly these often perish the little seal it looks like a modern more modern one but slightly different shape now that that might even be original too but well the hose is still fairly flexible for its age We've got uh, some of uh, Boris Johnson's hair included. He's not my favorite person at the moment. And I'm sure <laughs> a lot of you watching in the UK at this moment in time, he's possibly not your favorite person. Now, oh, we have here, and I've never used one. I must demonstrate it. This is a sprayer. And I would say that's Bakelite. Got the instructions like that. I will read this at my leisure. So, what can you do with this sprayer? What can you put in it? Well, you can mist plants with it. So, just put water in it and use it to mist your plants. And I believe you can put paint in it. Let's have a look liquid insecticides, carpet shampoos. L paints and lacquers and it actually shows here a lady using it probably to spray some sort of shampoo on her rug and then she's rubbing it in with a cloth at just over the end of the floor nozzle by the looks of it and it's glass it's a glass container that's all very interesting isn't it folks and this vacuum cleaner can even be used as a hair dryer, as you'll see when I show you the picture in the instruction book that was shown on the eBay listing. So that's a, a sprayer. Here we have, very used, perhaps this person may, mainly had parquet floors in their house, a very worn wood and metal floor brush. What else do we have? A lot of muck. We have one, and I don't even know what diameter that is, but it's not, it's smaller than 32 mil, I can tell you that now. One metal tube, which will polish up nicely. With a bit of metal polish, I'm gonna to have to take the cleaner out. Ooh, quick look at the cleaner. And underneath, I'll keep these parts. I'm not sure if they're part of the original packaging. They look quite old. Underneath at the bottom of the box, we got some more bits and pieces. 
this looks kind of kind of out of place because it doesn't match but I'm pretty sure that that is original that is a crevice tool and it's a flexible doobie at the end so it will actually go it doesn't look round does it but it should actually go on sort of hmm it's funny that there's this different types of plastics it's more of a rubber but I suppose it makes it a little bit flexible I think it's original this looks original and feels like Bakelite that will clean up almost new that's the upholstery nozzle so this is before Electrolux went for the butterfly tool because we have a separate wooden matte metal and a real bristle I expect or horsehair dusting brush and I think there's two for some reason there is two two for the price of one and then we've got this angled piece for some reason I think that fits onto something oh we've also got another one of these oh 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 dear right yes something's up the seller has not unless it's inside I don't think the seller's included the mains lead and it did I'm sure it had the mains lead pictured I knew it'd have to fix something anyway there's another brush here again it's wooden it's been a bit bit moth-eaten then we've got totally metal flip over floor tool the carpets so you'd use it that way to concentrate the suction and give you give your carpets a bit of a rub got any pet hair but you'd normally use it that way I would think and for some reason we've got another one I don't think I'm going to be able to show you this in action at the moment not very happy about that I will be complaining um, two more tubes and these have got little slits I think I did notice there were three tubes I think these tubes are the correct ones they do actually fit and this one I believe yes <laughs> that doesn't belong to this cleaner I don't even know if it's a, a, va a vacuum tube it could be from something else I will probably discard that because it's not not necessary right this was broken but I'm sure it was pictured I'm gonna check with this cut the this cut the lead off you can buy fabric coated leads retro looking which is what I'll replace it with but I'm sure it had a lead on it I'm gonna have a look in a minute so I can't really show you this going at the moment I'll show you all that in a minute this whole box needs a good vacuum out right there's no lead in here but we can have a closer look at the paperwork and then we'll have a look at the cleaner itself well I've just checked the eBay listing and it doesn't show the mains lead so I haven't got a leg to stand on this has obviously had a replacement lead at some point because I'm pretty sure the lead would have been one of the old-fashioned fabric coated ones so I'll either get a sort of vintage new lead to go on this and a, a vintage plug um, or just a brown lead or something that I don't know if a burgundy colored lead would be great but I'm not sure if I can get something but I think I can get a retro fabric coated with burgundy in it so I'll have to do that so I can't show you this going in this video uh, and this is broken as you can see uh, so hopefully I might be able to source at some point <laughs> looking on eBay constantly a new one of those otherwise when I wire this in again I'm just going to fix it like it's been fixed but possibly using some proper black tape that makes it look a bit better than parcel tape so sorry can't show you it going but we can have a look at what we've got oh it's a bag is it a bag it's a quite a long bag open-ended single layer paper and here we have oops oh hang on here we have some sort of receipt Electrolux this is model 60 I didn't know at the time model 60 quiet suction cleaner the cash price is 27 pounds six shillings I think that is nine pence 
with a deposit if you want it on credit really even doing credit back then for three pounds and nine payments of three pounds at 30 day intervals higher purchase terms there's no date no date on that you have now this is funny i've never understood why i've got some other older electrolux that just say electrux i think they're 70s models and on the rating plate it said electrux not electrolux electrux model 60 quiet suction cleaner a product of electrolux limited so here we have a little embouchure a little I think what this is, I don't think this is the instruction book, I think this is a sales leaflet to encourage the housewife to buy it. Can you see the housewife there? Doing all sorts of things with her Electrolux 60. What's she doing? Well, she's just doing the regular sort of things, isn't she? But yes, the handy cleaner for the smaller home, it says on the back. She's absolutely thrilled. This is this is in the days when women used to wear a pinny to do their housework, and often, especially if she was from up north, she'd probably have curlers in her hair and a, and a hair hair scarf on, and she'd take her curlers out when she went out to the pally or the local dance hall. If you remember Hilda Ogden, <laughs> not many of you will remember Hilda Ogden, but if you remember Hilda Ogden. She's a sort she's a sort of posher Hilda Ogden because she hasn't got curlers in her hair, has she? I'll just have a quick look and see if there's any date on this. It could well be 50s. It looks old, it could be 40s or 50s. Ah, now I don't know much about uh, when kings and queens were on the throne, but this is by appointment to the oh no, the late King George. Is that the the six or the I think I don't know. VI, I think that's six, so is it four? And it says, by appointment, suction cleaner and refrigerator manufacturers to the late Queen Mary. Ooh, it's pretty old, isn't it? Here's the actual instruction book, which was uh, pictured. Parts of it, let, let me try and get the front page of this because it's all over the shop. I'm, I'm going to, oh, it's not, it's one of the open out ones. I'm going to put that inside my Elna press, not switched on, of course, and leave it for a few weeks and hopefully it'll flatten it out a bit. It's one that opens up, dear folks. Here we are, look. I do have a website, folks. Or I do. I have purchased the name ibasiac.co.uk, but I haven't put anything on it. I've just got it. So I have to, at some point, do something with that website. I'm going to include things like this on my website, exclusive pictures and videos and things. Uh, but don't don't nag me for when that's going to be because I don't know. Sometime. But uh, yeah, she's having a she's having a ball. She's having an absolute ball, isn't she, that lady? And uh, the fun continues on the on the other side. Look at her. She is absolutely reveling in the Electrolux Model 60. Look at that. And this is what I found interesting. She's drying her hair with it. I don't think I would attempt. I've not, I've, got, I've not got any hair now, but even if I did have hair, I certainly would not be putting that on my sideboard, switching it on and holding my face anywhere near that exhaust vent. Maybe when it was brand new, but not certainly not now, folks. And I think she's drying a dog, isn't she? And where is she? Oh, yes. Even the dogs are either getting dried or vacuumed. I'm not sure which. Probably vacuumed, isn't he? That dog will be long gone, I'm afraid. And I have to say, I think that lady will have long gone. Shuffled off this mortal coil. Right. I can't really read it when I'm showing you. Um, just, just to see if there's a date. I love, I love these old... Um, instructions as much as the cleaners i've got quite a collection of instruction books i don't have the machines um but one day i might have uh, da, da, da. no i don't think there's any clue i'll have to google it so that's it folks i'll quickly show you the cleaner itself so here it is a typical sort of example of an olden days vacuum 
But even then, Electrolux would have been more of a quality make. There would have been a load of vacuums that looked very similar whenever this is from. But um, Electrolux, I think, even then would have had a, a reputation of making, you know, quality appliances. But yeah, I do like this, whatever it is. It's metal. It's, I'm sure the whole thing is metal, apart from the ends, which seem to be Bakelite. The handle has survived, that's not broken. Look at that. Uh, a switch, on off. Again, I think that's Bakelite. There is a blowing outlet with a little mesh grill on it. And I think you can take this end off. Of course, I can read the instructions at my leisure. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's amazing how things like this are still around isn't it most of these won't have survived they'll have just been dumped well that's the original filter i wonder if i can buy a replacement i d i doubt it i think it's a it's a cloth i might try carefully washing that by hand and you see there's the metal end oh, wow. people looked after their things back in the day because they were very very expensive compared to the appliances we get today that are so cheap they're almost disposable when you you know this is what the world is with most folk because they're so cheap they don't value them and if they go wrong or they're just not picking up or they just fancy something new they'll just often dump the machine sometimes they'll give it to charity or maybe sell it on but often they'll just get dumped like uh, a machine I opened prior to this, today I opened a Sebo Felix Classic that had a faulty power head. I fixed that power head within a minute. So, but whoever owned that first thought, oh, it doesn't work, get rid. They could have so easily fixed it, but they've probably got something Chinese made now. So that's the blower end. So we can attach, I'm assuming. Well, yes, it should be able to, I don't know. Should be able to, yes, we can. We can attach the blower, the hose to the blower end for blowing. This is where the plug fits. You see there, that's where I'm going to have to wire in a new lead to that uh, broken plug. I might be able to get a tattier old one of these or similar model with the plug I need. Because this, this is in lovely condition. No wheels, we've got these uh, what do they call those? Skis or sleighs? I don't know what they call them. Skid things. And we've got very old looking Electrolux badge on there, look. Oh, it's coming away a bit at the bottom. It's had a little bit of a dent. We'll have a look. We've got uh, a rating plate. We'll have a look at that. I'm not sure if we can date it from that, but we'll have a look anyway. Okay, so it says double insulation to BS, that stands for British Standard, if you didn't know, to BS1645 model ZA60 number E800-1161, 230 to 250 volts, 300 watts, AC 25 to 60, CS or DC. Okay, let's look at the suction end. So I'm assuming we remove this band here, this wire. Let's pull up. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's Bakelite. You normally got Bakelite in browns and um this looks like a sort of a burgundy brown. Perhaps they did bake light in other colors, I'm not sure. Oh, oof. <laughs> it's got a cloth bag. Well, that's to be expected. But normally you'd fit a paper bag inside, but most people would have just yeek, used a cloth bag, wouldn't they? Oh, I'm gonna give it a smell and I'm, I'm, I'm braving it. Oh, it's just that vintage smell. It's very hard to describe. Hello, 
Look at that. Oh, look at that though. I bet this I bet this sounds as smooth as butter. But unfortunately, folks, we won't be able to hear it today. I'm just going to have to go onto eBay or Amazon and, and just source a nice bit of mains cable for this. And I have I have no doubt that this will work. I really don't think it's going to. Uh, that's very tight. Um. Yeah. I think I'll be able to put for a demo I'll be able to clean this bag up and put a fleece bag an open-ended fleece bag inside this it's not wanting to go in it's probably not been removed for many years there we go it's a little bit that's it it's a little bit rusty is that it just put that on there close that oh, wow well. It's not the most exciting looking vacuum cleaner. It's not got bells and whistles, has it? It's not even got a bag, bag, bag check indicator. But it is nice to see the progression. So, I don't know the date of this, but I would, it's an early example of a cylinder vacuum. And you can see the way that they've evolved if you watch my, especially if you watch my Electrolux playlist. I've got many Electrolux cylinder cleaners a lot from the 70s but you can see that this is the heritage of the 345 that's one of my favorite Electrolux cylinders the 345 classic 70s vacuum I mean they're chalk and cheese but the principle is the same <laughs> it sucks one end and blows out the other but they've just inside you know very similar to the 345 but of course the 345 has the deluxe features automatic cord rewind automatic uh, bag check indicator doobie that stops the bag automatic floor head but they all do the same thing don't they they all suck up dirt i suspect the 345 will suck up dirt a bit better than this model 60. i will have a look i'll probably um I will check what when this Model 60 came out and I'll put the date in the title of this video so what I might do I don't know if anybody would be wanting to buy them but since I've got two of a lot of the attachments I might just sell them off the ones I don't uh, need but <laughs> oh crikey it's a nice thing to have I think it's in you know exceptional condition for its age and it look even better once it's been cleaned and a bit of polish, a bit of metal polish on the metal work. Mm. Oh, well, the hose, the hose swivels at the cleaner end, but not at the handle end. But there you have it for now. Anyway, a lovely, certainly I can call this vintage without being told off. No, it's not vintage. I'm being told by some people. I could even possibly say it's antique because this is definitely an old vacuum if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out my facebook and instagram pages and if you follow me on instagram you'd have seen a picture of this long ago i expect i don't know when you're going to see it again but uh well when you're going to see this video it's not going to be for a while or well, it might be i don't know you might see it soon but there you go i hope you've enjoyed having a look at some old technology. Sorry I haven't been able to switch it on. Should have checked that it didn't have a mains lead when I bought it, but that is easily rectified. But spoiler alert, I think this is gonna sound fine. It's gonna work smoothly. I can't see this sparking or making a racket or sounding like the bearings have gone. These old machines went on for a long time. Built to last, made in England. Thanks for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye for now hang on hang on come back come back don't go oh i'm back i'm back yes i'm back several days later well probably 10 days since i started recording this and i thought i'd reward all you gluttons for punishment all you loyal viewers who stayed to the end i thought i'd actually show you a little bit more of this cleaner and actually turn it on now i'm sorry i haven't even got changed for this i'm in my scruffs i've got metal polish on my jeans and in comes daisy may look at her 
wanting her foodies, aren't you, Daisy May? But you can't have it yet, because your daddy has to show his good viewers this uh, Electrolux. Oh, go away. Come on. Go. I've, um, as I say, I've been polishing. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that has come up very well with a little bit of uh, Brasso wadding I've used on that nozzle. And, of course, on the wands. Ooh, that nozzle slides lovely on my carpet. Done the wand. I've also done the cleaner. Oh, didn't need much, did it? But I've polished the metal bits. Does it look different to you? Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Now, the main thing I've done was to purchase a mains lead for this and fix. Now, this is a little bit of a, it's not a bodge, but it's a temporary solution. So what I've done, now if you remember earlier in the video, all I got supplied was this with some parcel tape wrapped around it and the flex cut off. So when I took the parcel tape off, it was quite bad. This is in several pieces. You can't really glue it. So I wired in some new cable and basically I've just used black insulating tape for now. So if I'm careful with it, it's okay. I've been looking on eBay to try and find one of these connectors, but they're not easy to get. Cause look, look at the shape of the end there. It is broken here as well part missing but anyway it does work I've spoiler alert I did try it earlier after fitting this mains cable I've got a plug I don't know how age appropriate it is but it's a nice brown color it is a vintage plug is it a, a volex I can't oh no it's an I think it's uh... I did put originally it was made in England anyway I haven't really polished up the plug, but it's, you know, I think it looks quite nice. And this mains cable, now I don't know what color cable this would have had originally. When I cut the cable off, it was white, which certainly wouldn't have been. It might have been gray, or it might have been one of these braided style. Now this is a modern cable. You can get them in all sorts of different colors and styles, and you can buy them by the meter or by, I think that I bought six meter length from Amazon and basically it's quite a thin cable but it was suitable for appliances up to 1400 watts so that's what I've done and it goes quite well I think really it's you know with the cleaner I think it's sort of you know it looks authentic but it isn't obviously so let's plug in it does work and it didn't when I touched it it didn't give me an electric shock so we can hear this vacuum running. Now it might switch on when I plug it in. Ooh, it's making a bit of a groaning noise. When I actually init initially turned this on, I better be careful with going near that. I'm a bit wary of that little repair. It's, as I said, it's a, a quick fix. But I hope to find something a bit more permanent. Yes, it's not, it's not, it's not electrified. I'm okay. Um, I, I haven't felt the suction. I've got my suction gauge actually. It's not going to be good. I can tell you this. I can tell you this now, folks. It's not going to be very powerful. And I don't know how, you know, water, not water, airtight this hose is. Right. Look, I've even got dirty hands. I can't believe I'm appearing on YouTube looking like this. Never mind. You're not here to look at me. You're here to look at the vacuums, aren't you? And the vacuum looks fabulous. So better than it looked earlier in the video. A little bit of spit and polish. I'm not even going to open this up. It doesn't really need anything doing to it, I don't think, anyway. Okay, let's look at the marvellous power produced by the 300 watt motor. Well, folks, it was about 36 to 38 
on the gauge, which I suppose isn't bad, considering it's only got a 300 watt motor. And you can hear how quiet this vacuum is, how smooth the motor sounds. I'll give it a bit of a push. I don't think I'll have any problem with this machine on my plush carpet. I can't see it digging into the pile and being hard to push. But here goes for the first time, the Electrolux 60 having a go on my plush carpeting. Well, there you go, folks. This really is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. I don't think there's any of you out there watching who remember having one of these from new, but uh, you never know. I've got viewers of all ages, shapes and sizes, but uh, quite a nice little example of old fashioned cleaning technology. I just can't get over. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. A lovely machine. I don't know. I, I don't know how old this is. Hopefully somebody in the comments will point me in the right direction or tell me when the Model 60 was produced. Obviously this is a UK Electrolux and uh, doesn't really compare with the Electroluxes you got in the US of A. So that, that's it. I am going now, honestly. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.